What's up, YouTube? Dre here with MD Cards Gaming. I'm gonna bring you guys a up some somewhat updated Shadal deck profile. Um, for those that seen this profile on my Shadal Prince profile, um, I picked up like a couple side deck cards. But anyway, that's enough of that. Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna get into the profile. Got three Wendy standard first at all. Um, and also, I feel I've been testing this build on Dueling Book, and this build is for competitive play. So, if you're a competitive player, here's a nice competitive Shadal deck for you. And I also have some other side deck choices that you know for those who can't get Lightning Storms or Nibiru's or things like that. Now, I have some you know tech choices uh, three squamata you know the standard six to start off then you got two hedgehog two beasts still this I feel like two beasts is standard uh, one kios one aerial and one dragon and that's it for the Shadow lineup um, pretty standard, you know, everything, uh, synergizes with each other, uh, one juggler, one trick clown, standard small clown package, I don't play hat tricker anymore, um, sometimes it could be dead, and I don't play, uh, Shekinaga in the extra. Um, still have to do a little bit more research in the format to see how the format is getting ready to come come full circle because the new ban list is coming December 13th so Shikanaga might be in the extra deck for the upcoming format may not, don't know yet uh, for the normal summons you got 3 math and then blaze mine um, this might end up coming out um, I found a new card that I can use that I feel like is very beneficial to Shadows. Synergizes with the deck really well. And I will actually show you. I'll show you guys afterwards, but this lineup might change depending on how the testing uh, continues to go. But for right now, three math, one place, man. Uh, for the hand traps, got two Ghost Ogre, two Ash Blossom, and then the side frame package. Three Gamma, one Driver. Uh, this hand trap lineup is very good. Very good. Uh, honestly, it's subject to change. I might end up main and veilers over ghost ogres. Not sure yet. I love the the removal that ogre provides uh, for the spells. Three shadow fusion. Three l shadow fusion. Standard and shadows. You know the three and three should all fusion great going second uh, for the other fusions we have two super polys and a polymerization um, finally picked up a starving venom thanks to my boy mark uh, so super poly is even much better in this in Shadows Nile um, so I might end up playing a third Super Poly, possibly. Then to end up the spells, the one ofs, Foolish, e -Telly, and Call by the Grave. Um, it's standard, you guys know, Call by the Grave. You want your combo to go through, even though it's at one, still get rid of that one Ash that they have. e -Telly, uh... Wendy, Ghost Ogre, and Cypher and Gamma's Foolish, Standard, 
Then for the traps, play one schism and then two rush. And people are sleeping on schism. Um, I might actually bump this up to two because this is the Shadal's versions of Zeus. If you don't know, well, everyone should know who Zeus is now. Zeus is pretty, pretty dominant in the meta right now, especially in the Zodiacs. But this is Shadal's version of Zeus. It doesn't target, so it just it the it reads. Let's try to get it to focus. During the main phase, you can fusion summon one Shadow fusion monster from your extra deck. So it's on your main phase or during your opponent's main phase, and it doesn't matter if it's main phase one or two. And I really think people don't really think about the second effect of this card. So we're going to continue reading. By banishing fusion materials listed on it from your field or graveyard, but it cannot attack directly. Then, you can send to the graveyard one monster your opponent controls with the same attribute as that fusion summit monster. Let's get it after directly. Then, you can send. Doesn't target. You, you choose. This is this is an out to Dragoon. This is an out to Zeus. This is an out to anything. It does not target. So you can Shadal Schism, banish a dark and a dark, a Shadal dark and another dark, and when to send Dragoon to grave. Um, I believe Zeus is a light. Zeus is a light. Banish, summon construct, uh, chain chain block if you if need be. Then you schism, send Zeus to the grave. If the card text on Zeus is cannot is unaffected, then it doesn't work. But if it just says cannot be targeted, then guess what? You have your out to you have your out to Zeus. So really recommend bumping this up to two. Uh, moving on to the extra deck, have a best dweller, uh, one side frame Lord Omega, a dweller might come out, um, not really sure, um, if you're up to date with the format, uh, I know last format dweller was good, a lot of grave effects, uh, especially Dino Mess, uh, Mirror Match, um, but it, I might take it out for Shekinaga or uh, that pre to plant fusion monster. So I'm um, do a little bit more testing, but so far that's that's what I got. Uh, Starving Venom, of course, super, uh, super poly target. Uh, one app clone. You got two window. And then three construct. Pretty standard. Uh, for the links, for link one, you got gravity controller. Then for your link twos, you have cross sheep, Shadow construct. Because uh, construct, I might take out. I might take out for Proxy F Magician and play um, Shadoff Falco. Um, just got to do some more testing with it. Um, if you like this deck and you want to do the testing, you go right for it. This is why we bring you guys these deck profiles so you guys can you know try what you you feel fits your play style. So that's for. The link twos for the link three. Still playing the deco talker. Um, people sleep on deco talker. Uh, you link summon it. 
uh, points to your monster, gains 500. You can use your uh, monks, your opponent's monster. Uh, if they try to target your monster, you can use your monster. The opponent's monster, Lord of the Law, can't talk. And negate, send the monster to the grave. And for the Link 4s, you have Boral Sword Dragon and Mech Knight Crusadia, Evermax. Uh, pretty standard. Side deck, got Lava Golem, Ash Blossom, and Ariel. Don't copy, don't copy these three. Don't copy these three, it's okay. Um, still, still testing, still working on it. Uh, but this is the true, true side deck. Um, Lava Golem. I like Lava Golem, but it's subject to change. The Ariel is my own tech choice. Uh, this Ariel is a advanced DD Crow uh, called by the grave. Uh, but continue on two Valors and two Dinkos. Um, might bump that up to three. Don't know yet. Um, to continue on with the side deck, we have two Twin Twisters, two Cosmic Cyclone. This is back row destruction, specifically. Um, play Dragon in the main, so this is your first and only, you know, back row removal in the main. But really not needed. And then deck lockdown. Uh, if you if you cannot get Droll and Lockbird, uh, Deck Lockdown is a great alternate to Droll and Lockbird. Um, yes, it hinders yourself too, but Shadows can easily not worry about you know going into the grave. Um, and there's two extra slots. Uh, if I had to choose, it honestly would not be any traps, um, not even infinite and perviance, or however, however you say it, um, I would choose either uh, the Raigeki or play two Forbidden Chalice. Uh, Forbidden Chalice, yes, they gain the attack, but their effect is negated, so it's just like infinite imper. Imper impermanence just they get the attack boost with Chalice and Rageki uh, like I said if you can't get Light in the Storm Rageki is a good alternate but that's the deck profile hope you guys enjoyed um, it's really going to be subject to change um i'm gonna try to go to a locals coming up soon so i hope that comes together soon i uh, hope you guys enjoy uh build you can build this to your liking fit, uh, make it match your play style um i'm slowly learning that shadow's play style have changed so it's Really fun playing Shadows this format. So, uh, got a couple things in the works. Trying to, you know, think of some ideas of content for the channel. So, if you want to give me some ideas, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And as always, we appreciate you guys. And. We want to bring you guys more content. So, much love. Peace out.